Thank you very much. Okay, just to share this little moment with us. Um, what do you think about backless as today's fashion trend? What are your thoughts on it? It's sexy. <laughs> Absolutely, and I agree with you. Yeah. You look very sexy, I, by the way. Thank you, you too. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> Although not, no, actually, don't, don't show your back, it's all right. I don't want to show my back, now. <laughs> Um, it's, it's an attitude, yeah, I mean, um, being able to express yourself um, through clothes is very, very important. I mean, to me, it's very important. And, and for that, you need confidence and you, you know, you, uh, you sh have to just put on something and not think about it, even if it's a backless outfit. So, um, it's, a sexy, it's a sexy thing. Girls love dressing up. It's our right. It's our birthright. So, uh, I think it's amazing and I'm wearing one myself. Very, very sexy back Indian, lovely legs too, my dad. Okay, okay uh, can, we, can we just take you back a little bit when you were a kid? Uh, was there a, 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 a starlet or uh, somebody that you sort of venerated and looked at and said, wow, this, this woman has a beautiful back? Was it something that you grew up with? Anybody you can think of for the top of your head? Well, my mother actually, because my mom used to wear these, uh, these, you know, these chonies, like with the sari, the blouses, and I used to have a, quite a deep back, and I used to tie it for her when she used to get ready and she'd go for a party. So I used to tie it for her. So I used to always think, my mom has beautiful skin. So I used to always think, wow, it's so nice and it's so lovely. It's beautiful. Yeah, Mums so are always mom. the best, aren't they? Sorry, what's that? Mums are always the best. Always the most pretty. Always. Okay, what, what is it that a woman needs uh, to carry off a backless dress? What is the one thing do you think that she absolutely must have? Um, well, confidence. I mean, nothing, nothing else. Confidence, like I said, um, one must be able to wear whatever you want to wear, you know, whether it's backless or any other outfit, but you should just be confident. And confidence comes from um, having uh, even toned skin, uh, which is important, and uh, even toned skin. That's what it is. Okay. Thank you very much for that, for sharing your insights, your personal experience with us. Um, we're now going to take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to call on stage um, with this trend that we have with Nivea, the Managing Director, Mr. Rakshit Hargave. Please put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Rakshit. Oh, I'm here. I, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Nice to see you again. Yeah, we do a photo. I have this mic. You want that? I'm sure there's a lot of people down there who want to be up and standing with you. <laughs> because you come from like a, a smaller city. Uh, do you agree that women have this kind of a problem when, they, they, when they're growing up? Firstly, I love this, uh, this tagline, um, turn your back on doubt. I come from Bangalore, which is a big city. Oh, OK. <laughs> is that where you grew up? Yeah, I grew up in Bangalore. Okay. But, I, but my uh, dad's um, in the army, so we've traveled a lot. But what he's saying is absolutely correct. Um, our decisions always don't come from 
within, like from us. It's, mm. you know, you sometimes get influenced by what people say, look kya kahenge, or kaisi uh, lagungi, and zyada to nahi ho jayega, and bhoot zyada tension to nahi, you know, milne lag jayega, koi aise kuch kahega to nahi. These, I think these are things that all of, all, all girls deal with, like, regularly. So, I think what you're saying is absolutely right. And um, I'm all for confidence and uh, freedom of expression that I'm really for it. So it's nice that this campaign is allowing girls to do that. It's beautiful. Okay. Well, my bad. I thought you were from Chandigarh, which is why I asked you the question. Why would you think I'm from Chandigarh? I thought I read it somewhere. Good Lord. I've been in the industry for five years, man. <laughs> I've still been trying to tell people I'm not from Delhi and I'm not from Chandigarh. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Thanks, uh, both of you all, for sharing um, Nivea's endeavor to take women's conference to the next level. Thank you very much for that. And uh, may I request you now to introduce Nivea's exciting Flaunt Your Back uh, campaign and we the final Turn Your Back on Doubt video. So uh, I think we can we have the remote. We're just waiting on the remote. Thank you very much. Miss Kanchan Negi. Miss Shivani Mehra. Ms. Aprajita Trivedi. So ladies and gentlemen, these are our four winners, our lucky winners. Can we give them some support and clap for them please? Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, could you ask Anushka to come and join them, please? ladies for joining us here today thank you indeed and good luck well done a sleeveless dress a top or a blouse but did you guys know that most urban Indian women would actually like to wear sleeveless more often than they do today if they were given that choice some of them actually only prefer to go sleeveless at home so what's stopping them from wearing sleeveless outside and wearing sleeveless more often well, apparently, it's dark underarms, and considering the day and age that we live in, what's starting to know is that till 2010, there wasn't some time back, I was asking a few questions to uh, some of my lady friends, and uh, they would wear sleeveless only for a specific period of time, and then, of course, they wouldn't for a while. 
Uh, after a month or so, again, later they pop up wearing sleeveless clothes. Now, my curious self, of course, that I am, uh, had to probe the matter a little bit more, and I was extremely surprised to know that women actually uh, waited to finish their monthly uh, routine of their sleeveless outfits. And what they didn't realize, though, was that every instance of waxing or shaving, apparently, this is from my probes, caused uh, damage to the soft skin under their arms. Now, over time, this problem became even more evident, so they eventually couldn't actually wear sleeveless. But all of that has changed now, ladies and gentlemen, because Nivea, with its innovative Go Sleeveless campaign, uh, has come up with a product with them as a brand. Well, I've had a wonderful association with the brand. It's been about uh, three years now. Yeah, we're starting our yeah, three, third year now, and uh, it's been amazing because um, like I, you know, the the fact that you're encouraging women to be themselves and um, and and uh, be confident uh, is something that I completely vouch for. Like I said, I'm all for uh, being confident and being yourself and doing exactly what you want to do, which whether the clothes you wear or how you express yourself. So um, I'm really happy that this is the this is the the turn that the brand, the brand is taking, and um, I completely support it. We've had a wonderful association. I hope we continue to. Uh, <laughs> okay, and uh, what about the, uh, the brand uh, campaign that you did uh, with the ad for the armpits? Did you enjoy the experience of shooting that and uh, share a little bit about this? Just some light Thank you. Lipika, look like your Masi. Huh? Look like your Masi. <laughs> is the look like of Man Manju Masi. That is true. Acha. So, uh, what is the best compliment you've received about your back? And do you, do you feel yours is the sexiest back? Uh, what's the best compliment I've received? Well, uh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> really, not here. <laughs> no. Anushka, Anushka, and Sasha, you yeah. yours is the sexiest back. That also you didn't reply. You tell me. It is. Thank you. Then, what do you happen to be doing? Why are you asking? <laughs> Anushka, for somebody to get a you know nice tattoo done on the back. How will this uh, product actually help for a girl, you know, if they want to flaunt their sexy back? So you see it again? If somebody wants to get a nice tattoo done on their back, and they of course want to flaunt their back, how will this product really help them? Well, um, the product even out your skin completely, it gives you an even tone, um, which adds confidence, you feel like you can flaunt your back, and express it through a tattoo, uh, which will, um, look good because your back is sexy. Right. And you're wearing a really sexy, you're looking really nice, the back. Can you tell me what design are you wearing today? I will listen dress up at from London, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Anushka? Yes. Hi. Here, here, to your left, if you can yes. see. Yes. Anushka, we saw the audio visual, it said that, uh, you know, dark skin was the reason why women couldn't flaunt their back and their armpits. You know, we recently saw this controversy in America where a uh, Miss Universe was dark, dark in color was crowned and the entire racial draw happening. So what do you have to say? Would you say that dark is not beautiful? Absolutely not. Um, a, that is not what the brand is saying. It's not talking about making you uh, fairer or whiter uh, than your natural tone. It's just giving you an even tone. Because what happens is a lot of times, um, you can't always you know, take care of your back because it's an area that you can't really reach. So sometimes it's, it gets neglected. And uh, over time, um, skin doesn't have that smoothness that one would like. So the only thing that the brand is talking about is just giving an even tone, uh, whether it's for the back or even the, even the underarms. It has the, the reason to use it is to repair your body. It is not to create an illusion of another uh, skin tone, which I completely don't uh, endorse at all. I think um, all skin types are beautiful. Women are just beautiful. Hi, Anushka. Are you doing great? Uh, so, uh, uh, so what's the pros and cons of uh, getting backless? You know, what according to you are the pros and cons of getting backless? You know, showing the back. So, what? What according to you are the pros and cons? I, I mean to say. Uh, Would you like to see a girl in a nice backless dress? Well, of course you're looking. Pro, pro, yeah. Well, of course you're looking great in. Hey, May, I'm saying. Would you like to see a lot of girls in backless? Yeah? So that is a, that's a pro. The con is that too many girls in that place, the vaccine, vaccine, or tucker, tucker, like that's a con. Thank you. 
Anushka? Who is another lady in the Bollywood uh, you will admire, uh, means who looks great uh, with her backs? I think all the, or everyone, no, we all are very sexy, we all have great backs. <laughs> I, say, I can't remember, I can't think of any, someone who had, who won something uh, backless, I can't think of anyone right now. Uh, anyone you would like to, means with the name you consider? Sorry? Anyone, anyone with the name you would like to consider? Anyone with the name you would like to take? Would you book this in a way of what you want to do? Any of the lady in the body would you, you will say, looks You want to take a name, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Achha. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> the Bible will tell you what name also you want to take. Now, who will elect you? Anushka, apart from Nivea, what do you do to maintain this uh, sexy back of yours? Uh, I work out, I exercise, I uh, uh, eat right, and uh, exercise, exercise is very important. I have a nice tone body, very really confident if you want. Anushka at here. what age for the first time, Anushka here, at what age for the first time did you wear a backless top or a uh, gown or something like that? You know when I was little, how old, when I was very, like when I was very little, when I was uh, whatever, seven, seven, eight, nine, that age, I used to actually uh, refuse to wear uh, uh, like skirts and you know, like sleeveless things and all as a kid, as a kid, because I used to play with so many boys that I used to feel like I'm, yeah, I'm looking very old. So I used to actually dress like a guy when I was young, so that was definitely where you are. Um, I started modeling very early, so that must have been I'm, the first time that I wore something backless. Yeah, I'd be young again. Anushka here. This is Tariq from Monday 24. Here. Anushka. Ha. Yeah. Okay, my question to you is, क्या कोई ऐसा खास कॉम्प्लीमेंट मिला है आपको बैकलेस के लिए जब आपने बैकलेस पहना हो और कोई खास कॉम्प्लीमेंट आपको मिला हो वो जानना चाहेंगे किसने दिया और क्या कॉम्प्लीमेंट था वो? He already asked me that question और मैंने तभी भी कहा था कि यहाँ तो नहीं बता सकती। Then my next question is do you feel sometimes you know insecure wearing such dresses because we are staying in India which is a country where you know we have you know family you know I mean, uh, nuclear families is there. So, this is a kind of a country where, you know, culture, you know, can't fast. So, do you feel insecure wearing uh, these uh, type of dresses sometimes? Yeah, I don't. Um, you're right. Uh, we have a certain uh, mindset. But um, I think nothing should be, nothing should be forced upon anybody. Nobody should tell you what you should do. If you feel like doing something, you should do it. I mean, I've always followed that. My parents have always encouraged me to do what I want to do and speak my mind and express myself, whether it's through my clothes, whether it's through what I say, what I do, my actions. So, I don't have any insecurity about what I have done. I have always been very confident in my skin. And I think what you're telling me, it's a broad topic. Not really, not very, uh, uh, abhi, kuch, I'll, I'll have a proper discussion with you. I feel very passionate about what you've said. Anushka, I'm Akira here. Akira? Akira, yeah, yeah. Akira? Yes, yes. Your name's Akira? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is also Akira. Yeah, I, know that. <laughs> I was in a company. But why you actually know that? I was going to say, why do you have a girl's name? Then I realized it's actually a boy's name. I had a boy's name. I was in a company for the royalty. <laughs> well, uh, you've been associated with Nivea for about three years now. Apart from your beautiful back, uh, which product of Nivea is complimenting your lovely legs? Oh, do you do? Okay, my parents. <laughs> nice. Well, I sit down here. <laughs> Apart from this uh, beautiful product which is uh, enhancing your back, which other Nivea product is complimenting your lovely legs? My legs? Uh, Nivea smooth milk. Um, that's the moisturizer. Yeah, I have an obsession with moisturizer and I'm not joking, I'm not kidding. Like in my house, there's a moisturizer everywhere. But I can't not have a moisturizer, even in my car. Because it's, it's, it's one thing that I really like, think it, it's, it really um, adds to your beauty. Um, and har pe hota hai. So it's, it's, it's an obsession. Hello, good. Huh? 